Good morning, Pipers. Yeah, it's me, your old boy Sasquatch Piper. And I don't usually do VRs. But I just can't stop thinking about one particular gaw, and it's not gaw. It's not the giveaway part that gets me. Pork Roll Piper. It's, it's the word that we have to respond to in said VR that gets me. So I'm going to go ahead and enter this one. Why not? It's a cool thing. He's doing a nice thing. I Why not enter one? So with that said, you probably want to hear about country, what it means to me. I, I, I'm not going to settle on one thing. I, I have one particular thing that keeps popping in my mind that I will bring up eventually in this video. First and foremost, country, my country, our country. United States of America. I love this place. I've seen most of it. Driving a truck. And uh, as much as I hated driving truck over the road, I am grateful that I, did. I have seen as much of it as I have through a windshield. But it's it's just the yeah it feels like we're falling apart half the time but the good old red white and blue you know it's there's nothing better I, I'm glad that this is the country the big fella chose for me to be in Okay, with that said, obviously, it makes me think of, you know, country music. Real country music. Not, not, nothing against, you like what you like, I don't care. But not the, not the pop country, but you know, what they label as outlaw country now. Or they have been for years. You know, starting with the old diving into the new you know Waylon the Hanks and that goes from old to the newer oh, goodness gracious I mean Whitey Morgan in the 78s fantastic if you like want to get in the new, the newer stuff that has that old outlaw flavor. Um, e even so, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's even some of them pop country songs that I, I can nod my head to a lot of music. But moving forward, country, you know, and I guess it goes along with country music. It does, it does stick in my head the you know, somebody out on a tractor working the fields. Just open meadows, stuff like stuff like that, you know, just doing country stuff, going down to the river, getting soaked, jumping in, having fun, you know. For me, hunting the country, in the country, our country, the country, the country. <laughs> but no, I mean, everywhere I, when I'm out hunting, I feel like I'm in the country. Whether it's deer, turkey, 
small game, birds, coyote, upland birds, you know. Not a foul waterfowl hunter. Not that I I just have too much into the <laughs> into other hunting. It would cost me too much to start foul hunting too. I've done it. And it's fun, but too immersed in other hunting. Turkey being the favorite. That goes with one of the old nicknames. Probably one of my first nicknames I ever got was Turkey Assassin. We got Uncle Fester, Turkey Assassin. Uh, Sasquatch Piper. D-Bag. No. <laughs> anyway, back, let's back on track. But when it, this was kind of the main thing I was getting at. I know it's kind of all over the place, but, and I don't know why we don't do this anymore, me and my buddy, big boy in Tennessee. I used to go out turkey hunting, and there, there was something very country about that for me. And it was revisiting a friend from my youth that was the coolest thing, you know. Back when, you know, the sandboxes, that kind of friend from, you know, that age. We uh, rekindled our friendship, I guess, after many, many years of, you know, just growing, doing our own things, moving to him, moving to certain areas, blah, blah, blah. You know, you get caught up in styles and what, whatever. But we reconnected through his sister on Facebook I believe well social media we'll just say that and he inv immediately saw that I had all the pictures of turkey hunting on there and all that stuff and he made fun of them called them chickens because east there they have the Easterns over there and they're all you know substantially larger and he said come at you know his daddy-in-law had all kinds of property and he actually the first time paid for me to go out there which was very generous he said it was a loan but he wouldn't let me pay him back <laughs> he just he thought that I, I if it if I knew he gifted it to me that I wouldn't take it so he horn swaddled me but being there with him especially one of the times I went taking his son hunting with his son getting his son his first tom a big one too boy it was nice and me when I turkey hunt with somebody if I'm doing the call in and all that stuff well and somebody else gets the bird or I'm just hunting with them and they get a bird that, that to me it, it's just as cool as getting it myself but you know being out there and just joking BS and chewing the fat hanging out hunting turkeys taking a nap in the woods <laughs> man there is something about that that just the, every time I think about it, it just sits deep with me, and I feel like that's country living. That's being in the country, you know. Now, there's so much that goes with that word country to, for me personally that I can't just drop a pin on it. But I do have, you know, a couple little things that really come to mind, which I've mentioned. But that particular few times I went out there hunting with him. That was just country, you know. Heck, we weren't even listening to country music. Probably didn't listen to any country music because we were too busy exercising our jaws, catching up on old times, and you know, it was just awesome. But I've drugged this out quite far enough. I think you get the point. When I think of country, I think of a bunch of cool, stuff that makes me feel good so there you have it pork roll there's my br buddy i appreciate what you're doing and i appreciate everybody else for what you're doing 
and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Sasquatch Piper, 